Hello. Greybeard here, and welcome to the channel. Uh, didn't get to do a, a, vi a video on a ride with this new bike. And uh, the weather's been <laughs> crazy. Like, we've even had pretty days, but the wind's been blowing so hard. We've had gusts up to 80 mile an hour one day. It, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Somebody's uh, uh, patio chair cushion blew into our yard <laughs> from like way down the street. <laughs> it was funny. They just picked it up today. So I had it in my mind right now. Uh, <clears throat> couldn't find my, my junior hat, my Dell junior hat. It fits better than this one. I like Earnhardt better myself, you know, senior. But uh, anywho, we got this one. It'll work. It's a little snug compared to the junior one, but uh, this uh, most people I see ride these bikes uh, like put like 18 or 20 pounds of pressure in these. It says you can uh, up to 30 pounds. I went with 25 to be a little soft, not real soft, but a little soft. But they're still quite firm. Just any time you go to air up these tires first time, just make sure the the tires are seated right. I didn't have any troubles, but I've, I've seen a lot of people complain about having uh, troubles with the tire popping out of the wheel. And you just gotta make sure it's even all the way around because if it's pushed all the way this way, it's liable to pop out up over there. <clears throat> I, don't, I think it's just a thing to do with uh, these uh, fat tires. These tires are getting a little old. Yeah. I think I've had this bike close to 10 years. Yeah. I mean, I didn't ride it a whole lot. The tires, the tread and everything looks just about new, but, but, uh, yeah, uh, where's that daggone bag I had? Remember, uh, if y'all watched any of my other videos, uh, oh, here it is. I said, get, try to guess what's in this bag. I'm going to go ahead and let you know. Oh. Don't want to knock these speakers off this wheel. These are tires. <laughs> and they're 20 inch tires. I got them for this bike. I hadn't bought this one yet. <laughs> but I just received some today that I bought the other day that are white walls. And uh, if y'all are avid watchers, you know, hopefully some of y'all are, hopefully most of you. Uh, Tell me which bike you'd rather see the white walls on. The X01 or the X50. And uh, yeah, I took that battery back in there to see if it charged up. It, 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 it's, it's showing like it's charged. And uh, like I say, when I put it in the bike, it works just fine. But on the thing, it, it's only showing one battery bar. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to do a test on that maybe next video or so. And I had some fenders for this coming in. They were supposed to come in yesterday, and now it's saying they're not going to show up till this coming Thursday. But hopefully we'll get them in then too. And I actually ordered a second set, hoping I can maybe make them work for this. But they're, they're actually 26-inch fenders. But if you look at this one, see how this one kind of flares up away from the wheel? That, of course, it's a lot shorter too. Uh, I'm wondering if that was originally like meant to be a, 26 and they just went to playing with it and they said hey that looks good which it does kind of look good but uh if we can make them work for this one we're going we're going to put them on there so i just these look like dirt bike fenders to me like and to me this is not a dirt bike yes yes that's loose that's why that fender looks so crooked i need to tighten that little bolt up there but anywho well get took off on here Get her fired up. Got the speed app on the phone. Oh, eh, I got a, forgot I got a, a, an ignition key in here. And this is the right keys I pulled out right off the bat. I got like three or four sets of keys in my pocket. Now, you yeah, know, guess you gotta hold it till it comes on, yeah. I can say the screen's a lot more plain than that one on that other one, but uh, all it's gotta do is do its job. I thought about getting the uh, 
this contraption on the new bike and uh trying my mic system out but with the way the wind's kind of blowing you can see it blowing that i don't know how much it's gusting up to and there you go it's gusting right now see the tree just blowing it ain't even got any leaves on it and it's blowing like crazy anywho enough rambling let's get on this bike and see how she does and you know taking mine like if you've watched my other videos on the x01 it's rated at a thousand watts this one's rated at 20, uh, 750 excuse me and uh it's only supposed to do like two mile an hour less top speed than that one of course i've only got that one up to 26 i think 28 on a slight downhill uh let's see what this one does and what i'm thinking is as i put this on here okay we're locked locked and loaded uh what i'm thinking uh i'm wondering if that one's actually 750 thousand watt max but they're giving you the max as the rating and this one could be 750 maxing out at a thousand or so and uh my hip ain't been uh very happy my it's my left hip keeps me from being able to put my uh uh I'm, oh, whoo. I just did like a half turn on this pedal and it took off. <laughs> what pedal assist am I in? I was only in one. Anywho, uh, let me get this garage door shut. <laughs> and this, this, pe this, uh, uh, yeah, my, my left hip ain't been happy here lately. Especially when I go to hike my leg up over something. I can go to hike my, oh, hold it. Trying to get this thing to stop. There we go. I need to turn that light off. I hate leaving lights on. Okay. Anywho. Let's get on here and do some testing. Like I said, I have not charged the battery yet. But maybe my next bike needs to be a step through. <laughs> but uh, here's the battery. Hopefully you can see what I'm looking at, what I'm trying to throw down. I'm trying to activate the back screen. Yeah, right here. But it shows full. That's the EF. Anyhow, let's take off. Ooh. I don't know if you can tell that it immediately started pulling. I, I kind of like the throttle. Oh. Riding shades. Yes, this pedal assist one takes you to nine. It's. <coughs> <coughs> I know I ain't went that far, but uh, seems just as peppy as the uh, the X01 though. And this uh, kickstand. If you look at it, bike's barely leaning. It just makes me worry it wanna might wanna <laughs> I was trying to see if that was an adjuster, but I got to look in this little thing right here. There's actually a spring in there. I was hoping that was an adjuster. I might have to loosen this and see if I can work some adjustment in there. It may be. Look at the back side. Uh, I don't know. There may not be any movement there. We'll have to see. But anywho's. get my riding shades. I had them on just a second ago, but I took them off to start the video. And there they are. Yeah, and this one, I got some mirrors for the, the this was an old set that I tried to work on and uh, they wouldn't work, but I, I kind of made them work by wrapping some tape around it and making it fit better. So what I did was, this is the thing that goes on it. And then there's a little inside one, but it's like real flexible underneath this. So I put some tape around it to make it bigger, but not as big as this to fit in here because that was too big, the other one. Anywho, I got some in the house that'll fit. We'll do a video on that soon. 
and i've been meaning to already say it but uh hopefully you like this video if you do please hit the like button if you don't lie to me and hit hit like anyway and yeah i like this uh 25 psi on here seem pretty good i think i want 28 on the x01 but uh i think it it said the same thing because the same tires i would assume they would say the same thing we're in pedal assist too let's see how much yeah it's, it's pulling yeah this thing's got some pep to it i'm in first gear i need to so far first and second seems smooth on the shifter let's go this way and uh, i heard that the back suspension is kind of stiff but i guess it ain't too bad with my girthy body on it it's firm but uh yes yeah, so a lot of the other reviewers i watched they're probably not as big as i am <laughs> Yeah, this thing picks right up and goes, though. I don't know if you can tell it by watching. Yeah, you hear that battery click? See, I don't like that. I might see if I can remedy that somehow. This is no pedaling. This is just throttle up the pe pedal assist too. Ooh, that's rough, rough, rough. Woo. Yeah, I wish they had better sidewalks here. They got sidewalks going just about everywhere. It's just they all dilapidated from the. I'd say most of your newer sidewalks are probably from the 60s, which is 60 years ago, 70 something. Look at this one. This is the tree roots doing this. <laughs> that sidewalk's supposed to be flat. Boy, that tree's grown so much, it's brought it up out of the ground. And of course, this town's kind of running down from what it used to be one, at one time. Uh, at one time, there was like 65,000 people here. Now there's only uh, around 11.5,000, about 500, whatever. And uh, they just don't have the money they used to. This is a better piece of sidewalk right here and it's still kind of bumpy. 15 at level uh, 2. That's not bad. <laughs> Still got three more levels to go up. I kind of like the, the position of the handlebars, but I do wish they were, were up a little higher. But we'll give her a few rides before I. Ah, they spoil stuff. I like that gas tank paint job kind of classic looking uh, thumb throttles probably a little easier but uh the uh, half twist throttle here is uh more uh you know what what everybody would be used to and it's on the right side where the throttle usually is where my x01's over here and you know this is over on the right side on the X01 where the throttle's on the left. You can switch those, I believe, but uh, I just haven't thought about it. Yeah. Brakes look, make a little noise, but you know, you can't expect them to be 100% silent. Front forks don't seem too squishy. Oh, I accidentally bumped the horn with my thumb. Let's try three. We're going uphill, though. That van's just past the peak of the hill. 17 uphill though, that's, <laughs> that's not bad in pedal assist 3. 
Hopefully that wind ain't making too much noise. Brakes feel good though. Brakes feel real good in fact. They feel just as good as the ones on the X01 in my opinion. I'm a novice though. You know, you got a lot of these other reviewers. That's all they do. They got like freaking 15, 20 bikes that the companies just send to them just to try them out. And uh, if any of you companies are checking me out, send me a bike. Holler at me. <laughs> I will check it out. Especially for free. Oh. Because <laughs> my budget is super low. I don't have a whole lot to play with. There ain't a smooth sidewalk here. <laughs> you have to go to Bluefield, Virginia. They've built sidewalks in the last little while there. Let's go up this way. This is kind of back where we came from. And we're going into the wind, if you can't tell it on the uh, audio. Being right here on my chest, uh, the wind kind of goes around it, so it does do less. But if I was to hold the camera up you know, with my hand, it would make a lot of noise. I noticed when I uh, yeah, we're taking off in pedal assist three going up this same hill we just went up. So it's only getting uh, 13, but we're uh, rounding off the top. Now we're going to be going slightly downhill. Four. Of course, we're heading into the wind. It's 21 at least. I didn't look down to just then. Okay. Let's see what it'll do. I think it was doing like 28 and pedal assist four uh, unloaded, you know, with no load. Twenty-five. No, we're slightly downhill, but that's still. We still got one more level to go. This bike might be as fast, if not faster, than the X01. Hit the avenue and ride the edge of the road, then go into pedal a little assist five. I hope you can see it speed on there. I don't know if you can or not. somebody behind me but I didn't let's go ahead and hit it see what she can do now we're heading into the wind we'll turn around come back this way and try it as well but the X01 will cruise 26 well I was doing 24 and that'll assist 4 there's 25 I think it's this wind and my girth. But seriously, this seems just as peppy as the uh, X01. Feels good and solid going down the road at 25. It's saying 27 on the uh, it was saying 27 on the bike screen. I think it's got a little bit softer takeoff than the uh, X01 and pedal assist 5. But it quickly gained speed though. You know, for a e-bike, a regular old e-bike. Yeah, it even shows a uh, full battery on the uh, bike screen. It's a 14 amp hour battery. Uh oh. Yeah, wind's blowing hard. That's been a 
biggest reason why uh, I haven't filmed is the wind has been just so horrendous. Try these gears out. It's a pretty steep hill here. <laughs> I've never been up this road really. This shifter seems to be set better than the one on the XO1. The one I need to. <clears throat> well, we got a little bit of clickage going on in three. Checking my tars. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> these brakes seem to have just as much, if not more, bite than the uh, brakes on the X01, and the X01 is hydraulic. You got all these reviewers and they do it so much that they they almost get a little snobbish about the uh the uh the features you got disc brakes they're my you know they're just mechanical and i'm 225 230 pounds and they stop me just fine i don't feel a bit uh like it's not enough for the bike or anything. They feel plenty, plenty, plenty good. Fenders are not making a bit of noise. It's just on the harsh bump that the battery makes a noise. I expected that the battery would start Showing like it's draining a little faster than it should because I have not put it on charge yet. This is the state at which it came to me. And it's showing full charge. Like I say, since it showed full charge, I didn't see no sense in putting it on the charger. Yeah, so far, my biggest gripe is that battery don't fit as snugly as the uh, X01. And that's not a, a deal breaker. From what I understand, some of these guys get these bikes and the daggone battery is so loose that, you know, on harsh bumps it'll... That's a crosswalk making that beeping noise. But the, uh, yeah, I've seen some reviewers be going down the road and daggone battery just fall right out. In fact, I don't think it was an actual reviewer. It was a guy who actually bought the bike and was just doing like me filming videos. Now we're going uphill in pedal assist five. It's not a steep hill. It gets a little steeper as you can see up the way. We're at 20, 21, two. Now going back this way, it seems like the wind's blowing at us this way. Because <laughs> we're basically going the opposite direction we was going beforehand. <clears throat> so far it seems like the X01 might have a slight higher top end. Thinking, catch the next road going downhill. I thought there was another one. I guess there ain't. Guess we we'll go up to this stop, stop sign. That's where we we'll go to hit the main road. I wanted to go back the other way, but it is kind of uphill. I was trying to get with the wind on our backs. 
And this road was a little bit more uphill than the main road, really. Yeah, there's always a lot of wind, especially uh, since we're right next to that mountain there. Let's try it again going down. Yeah, the, from here it looks like a... I don't know what it is. I was going to say Cadillac, but I'm not sure. It's a Mali boot. Okay, let's get her up to speed as quick as we can. Yeah, we're still into the wind. I'll go up another street or two, turn around, just come right back. Yeah, I still think it's pretty good with, with the way, way the wind's blowing into me. We're still getting 25. Like I say, this one's rated at 250 watts less than the X01. Like I say, it normally does 26. peak at 27 in some spots Ooh. yeah this seat is a uh, I'm feeling my tailbone I think it's my tailbone I don't know if it's really the seat I think it might just be me but if you look up at well I don't know if you can tell I don't know if the camera shows it very well that is uphill it's not steep, but it is uphill. Let's see what it'll do. Yeah, once you hit about 20 mile an hour on this thing, oh, I'm in fourth, I thought I was in seventh. In fourth, you ain't going to be able to do nothing at 20 miles an hour. You're just ghost pedal. <laughs> I thought it was in seven. We're doing 25, 26 uphill. It's hitting 26 on the GPS. This is uphill though. If we could go the other way without the wind, I believe it would go faster. Most at hum you hear is just tires. And as I showed earlier, I got a remedy for that. We're going to change out tires and put street tires on both of these bikes. And I plan on putting some on the, the Beast. I don't ride it as much as the e-bikes. The e so I'm not in as a big a hurry to put the street tires on it. But what it does is that that hum you hear, that's drag. Every little bit helps on these little e-bikes. If you can take some of the drag away, you might actually get another mile per hour top in. Get a little bit more distance on your ride, on your battery charge. these uh the shifters set up pretty good now i need to go back down yeah third get you a little clickage going on so as you get out third Either way, you get down into second, it does fine, fourth fine, third, once it click. <coughs> it works just fine, it just makes some noise like the derailer needs to be adjusted. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a rougher bump. I was looking behind me to see if I could swerve out a little bit. Turn as bad as I thought. Yeah. In my opinion, if you was to buy an e-bike and uh, 
<coughs> you just wanting the cheaper one or trying to get the cheaper one but you want an honest opinion on whether this bike or the x01 right now this seems every bit as good and like i say i got it for 11.99 the x01 it was running a sale last year <coughs> that's right up my throat i can't get it to come out <coughs> but uh here lately i've seen it for 12.99 hundred dollars more and that might be because the price of everything's kind of going up really <coughs> but uh 12.99 is still not a bad price for that bike to me the x01 is a little beefier of course it has the dual shocks on the back and everything so that's a little bit nicer although this one actually seems firmer on the rear suspension but on the x01 i would think you'd get more travel out of that setup if that's what you yeah you, know, you want a little more travel in your suspension <coughs> but uh i'm kind of easing into the pedaling thing this bear just came out of hibernation but yeah four hundred dollars difference and your budget's tight like mine if i'd have seen this bike when i bought the x01 i wouldn't have bought the x01 <clears throat> i'd have bought this one because i'm cheap not saying that there's anything wrong with the x01 other than that little deal about the battery but uh i went in there and started tinkering so uh that could be all my fault i'm getting a little clicking in fourth more clicking in third though now once i click back up to fourth it stopped Whew. I'm already feeling the burn in my legs. But yeah, so far I'm really liking this bike. I was trying to see behind me. That's why I need to get some mirrors. This one, I'll have to cut them out to put bar ends on it. You want bar ends because that puts it out past your shoulders. And yes, they will stick out and make your handlebars, you know, wider, basically, when you're trying to maneuver in tighter spaces. But, I need to get over to that side walk. There's usually hardly any traffic on this road, though. Oh, we'll take it. Ah. Seven. Yeah, you're still helping at 20 and 7. Not a bunch. But see, especially if you're as out of shape as I am, on a regular bike, I wouldn't be doing 20 mile an hour uphill. <laughs> Just no way. Yeah, just this freaking wind. Just behind 
behind me. It must have turned. I was wanting to go into the school parking lot. Get off the bike and stretch my legs out and let my tailbone breathe. But, <clears throat> I don't know if you could hear me with the wind. Going down the road, it's hitting my ears pretty hard, so I don't know what, if the mic's picking it up like that or not. But, this bike to me seems just as peppy as the X01. Oh, I had my camera down still. But yeah, this bike seems just as peppy as the X01. And uh, top end seems to be the same. And like I say, this one's rated at 750, the X01's 1000. But like I say, these different companies might say, well, it's a, it's a thousand watts when that's the actual peak. When your normal, you know, constant is 750. And this one might be saying 750 and the peak be a thousand. It, all these different companies do it differently, you know. Not all of them, but I mean, you know, here and there. So just cause one says it's a thousand doesn't mean it's truly a thousand. I don't know. But Polarna is supposed to be one of the, the nicer brands at all the Chinese companies. It's a good looking, but look at that metal flake in the sun. I hope that camera's picking it up. I do like that gray with that metal flake. That is pretty. And like I say, let me take this off the, the doohickey. I can't, I ain't seen a scratch on this bike yet. Oh. Might be slight scuffage there, I'm not sure. But it's not like a scratch where the paint is scratched off. I could buff that and that'll be perfect. The onlyest flaw is there's stitching on this little frayed end where the, I guess where it probably started and went around there and that's where it ended. But uh, look, look over that bar where the sun hits it. Lights that diagonal metal flake up. That's pretty. And like I say, it's like a little spot there. I bet I could buff that right out. But it's not scratched, you know, like most of these bikes, when they get a scratch, Especially when it's due to shipping, you usually see the the uh, the primer or even the metal, you know, just like it's not adhered right. But this in here, there's nothing like that. Biggest thing, you can see it fender is slightly tweaked, and I imagine I could probably hit it with a heat gun and go like that and hold it until it cools off. It probably stay straight. I've done that with hair dryers before too, really, with uh, things that are plastic that are kind of misshapen. But yeah, my my first impressions are of the ride is uh, this spike ain't bad at all. Let's check the tars. I've seen videos where these guys have flats and stuff like that. Just going down the road. I always worry about that with myself because I don't feel like pushing. And, uh, but uh, I haven't had any of that trouble yet. And hopefully I won't. Now let's take this around a little. Looks like a little track. <laughs> Knock her down to three. We don't need to go that fast here. This school is only like three years old. And maybe I'm an asphalt, uh, what do you call it, snob. <laughs> <coughs> only cause growing up, and I was the youngest out of uh, nine kids. <laughs> but my dad used to do small parking lots and driveways and stuff. Haven, seal coating, and uh, see them seams and some raunchy looking seams. That shouldn't look like that in three years. And what gets me, what made me think about it, 
See that joint kaboom? You shoot that that's a terrible joint. And going around this corner, of course a lot of that's gravel. Yeah. You shouldn't feel them joints like that. You should be able to come off one pad to the next when you like maybe they ended one day and where they had to make a what we call a sand joint. And that's real rough right there. It's already being patched. Of course, that could be due to snow plows. Yeah, they've already had to patch it. But yeah, I, I don't know if y'all can see this. See, that's what I say. I, I, I want the, I would like the handlebars to be up higher. That way, you can get the uh, GPS in the screen. going out of pedal assist three to five tuck it might get 29 nope too much wind I do believe that I just noticed maybe I need to ride the bike more but uh, if you watch my videos on the X01 when you go from pedal assist to throttle it seems like there's a one and a half to three second delay somewhere in that area I'm not really sure I'm just guesstimating uh, but uh, on this one, it don't seem like there's a, uh, as much of a delay. There is a delay. Like I say, on the X01, the way I explained it is, uh, okay, if you go to take off and you just decide to hit throttle to take off, it's instant. But if you're in pedal assist and you hit the throttle, it takes, like I say, one and a half to three second or so delay I'm not sure exact it might be one one and a half front brakes I can hear them but that doesn't bother me really don't and that's something that you can replace if you had to fairly cheap now upgrading to hydraulic I don't know how much that cost but I'm not really worried about it I was looking at this oh, that's, that's the time <laughs> I, would, I hit the throttle and uh, I could feel the front end of the bike kick up it was wanting to go <laughs> yeah I could imagine a true 1500 watt or a 2000 watt I was looking at one and I, I seriously come a hair from getting it the style of the bike was very similar to this one but it was dual motor This thing's hesitant to go up. You have to hit the button two or three times. But let's check out the walk feature. It's supposed to hold down negative. There it is. <laughs> I wonder if you can adjust that because if it's an older person, like I can, I can do it. But <laughs> it seemed kind of like it was <laughs> kind of a quick pace. But uh, yeah, I'm, for the price, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. I think get as much light on the subject as we can. Like I say, I got two more lights there. I'm torn on which way to to install them. I thought about going like this back here, but like when I started out the 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 other video on this bike I was going like this and it just seemed dark coming from this way when you get turned around this way facing that way with the door shut it seemed brighter because you're underneath the light shining that way but when you don't have any light back here it just it's like the camera needs more light in, it, in its lens to pick up better but I need to get more light back that way my original thought 
was this way on the outsides of the door but when i do my videos i usually uh shut the garage door and see when i shut the garage door i could have them like one right here and one right here I'm trying to activate my screen so i can see what i'm what it's picking up yeah one here and one there anywho uh and get plenty of light back there i was wondering see if i put the lights outside this track that track would be like in the way of it but it may be okay and my other concern is to, to run the the uh the wires the cable management you know i'm thinking about taking this one out and putting it over there and putting one of the new ones there because the new ones if i'm not mistaken should be uh i thought they was linkable maybe they're not I'm not sure. I have to look. They may be exactly like it, but I may have to run some kind of cord to them. But we need to get some more light in here, I suppose. Let me take my my writing shades off. Whew. I'm actually sweating underneath my shades. As far as I could tell, is the only place I was sweating. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool looking bike. And like I say, I ain't turned it off yet, so the light should come right on. Yeah. Uh, if you watched a lot of my uh, videos you know that uh, I took a night ride on that one I'm thinking about doing the same with this one it should do just as good as that one it's the same exact headlight look at it from the back got your uh, your electric horns right there same headlight look at the, the, the these, this fin looking stuff right here whatever you call it it's plastic so I don't know if it's really anything to help with cooling but one day I need to try out my mic setup so I can start using this because I tried to use this one time with just the GoPro mics. And it all you heard was because it was mounted solid to the bike. And all you hear is all the bumps making the, the frame rattle. Stuff you can't even pick up with your ear. The, the camera was picking up because it was hard mounted. But if I run the cordless mic and it works, I can put it out there and get different angles of me riding the bike and stuff, you know. This sucker will go out quite a ways, quite a ways, if I'm not mistaken. It's like five foot out, something like that. At least four foot, I know. So yeah, I could have that thing way out there. We can get a better view of me going down the road and you can see the cars behind me as I'm riding and stuff. I'm trying to do some different stuff here. I'm no professional at the, the videography but uh i'm trying i'm trying to pick up on it but uh yeah i hope you liked this video if you did please hit the like button subscribe if you haven't yet if you have check and make sure you're still subscribed and hit the bell to make sure you get all the notifications if you you know if you want to see my content you, you'll want the notifications i would think yeah uh and share the crap out of it